Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and in today's video, I will try to show you why and how Genie became top tier uh, deck with Fortuna, of course. Fortuna is currently, in my opinion, the best hero, the best legendary hero. And uh, what is the reason why Genie became top tier meta? Um, I will try to talk about it and explain you how it, how it happened and what is the main reason for that so yeah let's jump into the video all right so what is the main reason why genie has become top one deck in rush royale currently uh main reason is that uh, trend and spirit master both got nerfed on its damage and attack speed uh so they are not that powerful don't get me wrong they are still very very good units uh i would say top three currently maybe top four uh but the main reason is that witch got nerfed from 10 percent to four percent per merge rank uh, but they added that now the merge rank of witch matters and for each merge rank uh, you will receive 25 percent of the um of the buff basically uh in my opinion uh, of course for trend it, it doesn't work that well just because of the trends ability and for Spirit Master, it could work, but it is not that powerful anymore. Uh, of course, you play Spirit Master with Copper, so you can maintain those tiers, 6 tier 7, which is, uh, but it is just not that powerful as Genie Sultan. Genie Sultan currently is the most powerful deck that can reach very, very high highs. And I have perfect game to show you that it is incredibly overpowered in my opinion 7 minutes 23 seconds and it is not the longest game of genie sultan uh there are higher higher uh, games you can check the death wave leaderboard uh of course uh with one eyes eye closed of course because some players play uh death wave with uh, to, to to break the death wave record without armors of course but as you can see in this game, 7 minutes 23 seconds, both players played with full equipment, uh, so it is possible to get it. Uh, let's jump into the equipment. Uh, don't know the reason why, why it is played with Mage Robes. Um, still didn't figure it out. Maybe because of the that deck being mana hungry. Um, but yeah, um, it is played with Sword. I, I would prefer play it with Sword, of course. Don't play it with Staff, don't play it with Bow. And sword gives you the most uh, amount of the damage and of course uh, just because you play like eight or even nine uh, genies on your board so you uh, you you are required to play amulet of swiftness uh, because it will give you the most uh, the, the biggest value basically uh of course for tuna item it is required pretty much because it gives you uh uh, uh, it gives you a chance to shield against a rank decrease. Uh, it is quite important for all the decks that play Fortuna, uh, just because it relies on on Scrapper pretty much and nothing else. Uh, for the talents, it is played left, left, right. You play Lamp Prison uh, to keep your to basically get your uh, genie stacks much, much faster. Uh, just because the Sultan gives you. Uh, Additional charges, additional stacks when you uh, make a line with the Sultan. And of course, Lamp Prison, which is in the middle, uh, will give you uh, both of these Sultans in the line. Uh, so yeah, for Scrapper, it is pretty simple. I saw people play Waste 3 Recycling. I don't think it is that good, uh, even though it gives you the 100% mana cost. Uh, but I think uh, scrap them all. It is uh, simpler to maintain your merge ranks of scrapper. Plus, it gives you that twenty percent extra damage for ten seconds, and you basically only scrap in the deck. Uh, so yeah, for swords, uh, you play all right. You don't play the cleansing talent. You want to have that eternal gaze because all you have to do is to find your. Um, Awake, awakened sword and uh, place it preferably in the corners uh, for harlequin uh, all left uh, some people play left left right some people play left right left left right right it's not that important in my opinion hardly talents uh, it's all about that level 15 talent in my opinion that you can copy any merge rank 
and uh, yeah that would be it as you can see level 15 fortuna won against level 20 so that's surprising uh we can check the equipment he is playing mage ropes as well um about the talents it's i would say it's pretty much the same uh yeah all left oh he is playing oh that's surprising why is he playing cleansing swords maybe that was the reason why he lost because he didn't have the sword stocks but yeah we'll see we'll see so yeah let's just watch the game and see how both players played that game and what made them reach 7 minutes and 23 seconds. Hey you! Yes you! Do you still buy things directly in the game client? Come on, you know it's much better to purchase on the market. It's so simple. You just go into the Rushrail official market or you can just click in the link in the description. Choose any item you want and after that if you want to support me you can use my creator code MANTI and enter any message you want to me. You have plenty of payment methods there as well. That's one of the best ways to become even better player than you are right now. For all those who support me, big thanks guys, and stay awesome. Alright, and we are in the game. As you can see, both players are pretty much maxed accounts. Uh, so, what is the strategy for Genie Sultan? Uh, how you play it, how you max the damage output uh, in this deck. You basically play, you have your um, Lump Prison tile in the middle so all you want to do is basically place on the to the left and to the right sultans just to have both of them in the line of the lamp tile uh, to get as many stacks as possible then all you have to do is basically uh, next to your sultans place your three three of your normal genies on the left left side on the right side both sides the same then on the four corners you want two troppers and one enchanted blue swords for those uh, sword stacks it's pretty simple as that and then you basically uh, you have two one corner left so you uh, basically uh, scrub away from in between from the lamp tile and from the corner uh, important note I would uh, save one of uh, genie's tier one and uh, preferably uh, next to your lamp tile and try to keep it tier one if it's not tier one then eat it and get another one just to get your uh, genies from harlequins uh, pre pretty simple uh, except all of the genies that are currently uh, on his board uh, so two sultans and three of those next to next to them um, plus one over here so like i said it's four four and nine so nine genies can be higher merge ranks than tier one but one genie uh, up there should be tier one for you to be able to copy it with harlequin all the time it is very important to build as many stacks as possible and to uh, activate your genies constantly in in the end game in death way so uh, right now as you can see uh, he is pretty much getting there and of course lamp prison works that if a uh, unit on the lamp tile is non genie unit then when you press your uh, genie ability the fists then it will turn that unit into a genie that's why you want to have it tier one constantly uh, I wouldn't recommend merging on that tile just because uh, you don't want tier 2 being over there because then you will be in trouble um, so yeah uh, to be honest it is not much to explain uh, so most likely I will just uh, speed up the game until death wave minute 3 uh, or minute 4 even uh, I will cut the video so you don't have to watch the entire game because it is ma pretty much simple uh, He will not do anything other than just scrapping and using fists ability on cooldown because he has two troppers in the corner one enchanted blue sword uh, His whole board is pretty much will be the same except uh, the higher merge ranks as you can see all of the nine genies uh, will be higher tiers this one should uh, remain tier one 
and he will scrap away from this corner to lamp tile and over and over again basically you have to control your scrapper merge ranks with your scrapper ability and if you are getting stuck you can always use fist to turn the tile uh, unit or scrapper into genie and then eat it with another scrapper and so on and so on it's pretty repetitive repetitive i think is the word uh, so you basically do all uh, one thing all the time it's nothing complicated so i will just uh, fast forward the game uh, cut it for you and we'll see each other in just a second all right and we are back into the game as you can see it's minute uh, three minutes and 40 seconds into the death wave like I said, he will not touch his uh, units. He will remain. He will uh, get that tier one genie over there uh, all the time, pretty much to copy it with Harlequin and constantly, constantly use that genie ability to get even more stacks. As you can see, four minutes, two hundred million boss, not even using fists. It's dying like a butter. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's just pretty simple gameplay. Of course, it's a very 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 expensive deck because you, you uh, need uh, I think minimum Fortuna 15 uh, but the higher the better of course uh, all all of your support units needs to be level 15 to uh, get seven minutes into the death wave if you don't have max units or you don't have Fortuna 20 you have Fortuna 15 16 of course you can reach like six minutes six minutes 30 um, but if, for example, if your Trapper is not level 15 or your Harlequin is not level 15, especially if your Harlequin is not level 15, I wouldn't play it. Uh, because without Harlequin level 15, uh, you will not be able to copy your genies. It will be much harder. You are risking being stuck on your board. Uh, so I would not recommend uh, playing this deck, of course. Uh, as you can see, 5 minutes. Uh, he didn't use Fist on the boss, uh, so that's why he got hit. Uh, in any other game, I don't think he should get hit. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's pretty straightforward deck. Nothing complicated. You don't have to plan that much into the future. Uh, so yeah, 5 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's see who is damaged. He will use Fortuna now for the extra damage. Mm, okay, he decided to use Fist, uh, to my surprise. Uh, if you play it and you want to use Fist, make sure that you are not turning your only scrapper into Ginny just because you will get stuck um so yeah you have to be careful only about that uh, yeah so we are one minute and 30 seconds away from the finish line so let's check the stacks as you can see uh lkss has uh, almost 800 stacks macao macao macaco albino has uh, only 600 stacks uh about sword stacks i think pretty much both players no makako doesn't have sword stacks on all of his genies i think he messed up his talents um but yeah we'll see six minutes 30 seconds it's tribunal both players will get hit for sure no matter what account you have no matter how strong it is it will always hit you at six minutes it doesn't matter what deck you are playing but as you can see alka says is uh, maintaining that damage uh, a bit higher than Makako. Um, so yeah, that's most likely will be it. Oh, okay. Both players are struggling against that Bunderlord at the same time. Uh, but LKSS is gonna use that ability now. And Fortuna, of course. So 20 seconds longer. As we can see, Makako is going to get hit by the Bunderlord. LKSS did not. So I would say it will be the reason why he won. Because now he's gonna use Fortuna. Both players will use Fortuna for the stun, but uh, Makako, just because he lost the, the life earlier, uh, lost the game. As you can see, yeah, uh, LKSS has, has all, not maxed account, but 6,900 bits, so pretty much the same. And yeah, if you if you are interested, sure you could play it with uh, perhaps um, 
Mermaid, you could play it with, if you are a lower crit, of course, like 4,500 crit, you could play it with Mermaid, you could play it with Gadget, you could play it with uh, maybe even Zeus. I faced one of the, the GD Sultan players with Zeus with very low equipment. To my surprise, he reached seven minutes, uh, 6 minutes and 30 seconds, so it is playable with other heroes, it is just not that good. Uh, but on lower crit, I think it is, it is okay to play it. I saw some player reaching 9000 trophies with uh, Genie Sultan with Mermaid, so of course you can play it as well, you can test it, let me know down in the comments if you tried it, how does it work for you, and of course like, subscribe as I'm trying to get my account uh, on YouTube account uh, a bit bigger, so that would help me a lot, and yeah, hopefully you guys like it and like the idea of the deck, and see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.